What a beautiful day. I am proud to be standing here today with President Biden and environmental leaders in Congress to announce an unprecedented $7 billion in funding for the Solar for All program legislation that I introduced. Let us be very clear. Climate change is real. Climate change through drought, floods, forest fires, heat waves, and extreme weather disturbances is already causing massive devastation to our country and the entire world. And if anyone tells you that climate change is a hoax, have them talk to farmers whose crop production is dwindling because of drought. Have them talk to firefighters who risk their lives fighting fires with more severity and size than we've ever seen before. Have them talk to many thousands of Americans, including many in my own state of Vermont, who have lost their homes because of unprecedented flooding. And if anyone tells you that the United States should not help, the wor help lead the world in transforming our energy systems away from fossil fuels, understand that they are literally threatening the health and well-being of our children and our grandchildren and the future of the entire planet. And we cannot and will not allow that to happen. All of which brings us to why we are here today. I am proud to have worked for a number of years on a program that will cut carbon emissions will substantially lower the electric bills of some 900,000 Americans, and in the process will create thousands of good-paying jobs. This legislation, Solar for All, is a win for the environment, a win for consumers, and a win for job creation. In my state of Vermont and around the country, we are seeing more and more people install solar panels on their roofs. And the reason is simple. When they do that, they cut their electric bills by 70 to 90 percent, depending upon solar exposure. 70 to 90 percent reduction in electric bills. That's huge and amounts on average to over $1,200 a year in savings, over $100 a month. The problem is that in order to get those annual savings, you need to make an initial investment. And depending upon the size of your home and where you live, that investment in solar panels may be $10,000 to $20,000, which is a lot of money if you're an average American. And that is where the Solar for All program comes in. This program will provide grants and loans to working class families to help cover the cost of installing solar rooftops or participating in community-based solar projects. Families who have in the past not been able to take advantage of solar panels will now be able to do so. And this program is cost effective, and I want to thank the EPA for their good work on this. And the EPA projects that it will more than pay for itself. 
The estimate is that this $7 billion investment will save working families more than $8.7 billion in lower electric bills over the lifetime of these solar panels. In other words, we're spending $7 billion to save more than $8.7 billion. And we're reducing carbon emissions and we're creating jobs. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. In the 1930s, as I think many of you know, the federal government helped bring electricity to every region of our country as part of the New Deal. And that was a great, great accomplishment. Today, we can lead the world in transforming that energy system away from fossil fuels to clean, renewable energy, and in the process, save Americans billions on their electric bill. I want to thank President Biden for his leadership on this issue, and I look forward to our continued work together to expand residential solar, to lower the cost of electric bills throughout this country, and to combat the existential threat of climate change.